Hey guys and girls, this is once again Gordon Overkill with another episode of Mission 8 Impossible, 4th Mission Lantia, Male Level 10, High Elven Assassin. And as you will surely remember, Lantia is currently within a rather dangerous situation. He is here in the big room being followed by a rattling archer but right after the archer comes an ice vortex and this vortex can be very very dangerous for Lantia so I should better get out of here and I, uh, I talked with my teammates and I uh, got some uh, some tips what I might do and there should be among these potions that Lantia is carrying a potion of invisibility it might be the translucent potion so I will try to drink this potion right now that might help me to get away suddenly you can't see yourself excellent we are invisible and I hope that allows us to run away from this guy but it does not seem so it does not care about me but why does it follow me okay it does not follow me anymore so get away good very good very good Suddenly you can see yourself again. Where are the stairs? Keep an eye on that. Here we go. Now the question is how to continue. First kill this uh, hellhound, that's for sure. Goes to level one. Definitely nice. Hmm. Oops. I will try to reach downstairs. And I hope that I will, on the way to the downstairs, not meet the vortex again. <sighs> because I think at the moment fighting this vortex would be a little too dangerous with this low hit points. On the other hand, oh, also mimic. No, I'll be back later. Okay. I think I would like to make a level or two before we continue. So maybe the next step should be diving deeper into the caverns of chaos, looking for tension rooms or lesser vaults, or stuff like that. I think we do not have the money. No. Oh, we have the money. Well, but I think there was not anything that we need to buy at the moment. So, I think now it might be time to dive a little deeper into the Caverns of Chaos. That's a lawful altar, ain't it? Oops, let me take a look. Red. That should be, should be lawful. I could just status ID my stuff now that I'm here. Oops. Oh, many people in the temple at the moment. Lawfully light altar, that's it. Okay, okay. I will then equip the whole, unequip all my items of unknown status and identify them. So, pick them up again. Also, I will sacrifice a single piece of gold to see how good my piety is. Very pleased. That means we still got a couple of, uh, of prayers. That's good. So, do not have anything here. What about this metal cap? No, sucks. A lot worse than our head. Of course, we wear this beautiful elven chainmail. Metal girl is cursed. Cloak. Let's check that. Yeah, it's uh, almost the same. I I take the blessed one. Have we got any weapons that we might also equip ID now? Um. No, actually not. Shields is just this medium shield. I'd like to find a better shield at one point. And this is a ring of fire resistance. Uncursed. Excellent. These gauntlets, what about them? 
blue garments. Wait, let me check the protection value. Now it's nine, and with the garments equipped, it's ten. Okay, so it's very likely leather garments. At least it's one point of protection value. And also, we are going to use some of our arrows, this stack of ten. So, that's it. We might also sell a couple of stuff. That's the selling spot, ain't it? That looks very much like it. Which race is the shopkeeper? No, oh, he's a dwarf, of course, so we won't get very good prizes, but anyway. I do not want to carry all this stuff with me. I will sell this crappy dagger. Stone clip of the sun is never as good as our sword, broadsword. That's for the moment. Also, let me check these missile weapons. Maybe there's something that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That's a really bad longbow. They all suck. Okay. I will keep the cursed longbow maybe or something, but uh, I can sell all the rest. G, I, J. Yeah. What else do we have to sell? The Skugari maybe? Yeah, I'm not going to train them anyway. Strange items. We just try to get rid of a little weight. I hope that we will be able to uh, get a lot of additional nice items. Manual of bridge building. We are not going to train bridge building. 99% sure of that. Otherwise we can buy it back. So, sell all the stuff. Now, I definitely want to bless our weapon, because that shall not be lost. Anything else? I might also bless the wooden ring, don't know. No, maybe not yet, maybe later. Keep two holy waters, that's okay for the moment. So. I feel quite well equipped for the next levels of the Caverns of Chaos. Let us hope that we will there be able to gain a couple of levels and nice pieces of equipment in order to get strong enough. I definitely, what I want to do in this uh, game before going to the Tomb of the High Kings or wherever, I definitely want to um, um, do the Pyramid, maybe Dwarven Graveyard. Oh, the Griffin. Hello, Griffin. And what I also definitely want to do is uh, Dark Forge, if I can. Oh, wrong weapon. Drops us a scroll, thank you. Getting some nice equipment is very, very important now. Still got this hit point problem, but I do not want to farm any herbs in the level that contains a vortex. Oh, hello, spider spawning motherfucker. Slightly injured, but he spawns spiders. That's what we hate him for. These spiders are some nice training, although, of course, they do not drop any items for us. So, here we go. Pick up the arrows. Pick up these arrows. And straight through the, through the webs. There we go. Outlaw. I will it intensively train our skills with our ranged weapons because for low hit point characters 
Rage combat is the most important thing. I even think that we have got a couple, if I remember correctly, from an older uh, status file of one of the died characters that uh, Lantia might have some arrows of construct slaying. And that would enable him to do definitely... Oh, and another spider spawner. This time it's a Dark Elven Princess. They are even more dangerous. But, close to level 2. Developing. And now, shooter. Nice! One shot kill. These priestesses are quite nasty because they can, I think they can confuse you. Or paralyze or something else. I just know it was something really nasty. Kill these large spiders. Oh, I uh, walked into the webs. That was not so clever. Another wooden shield that might as well be better than ours. And seven arrows, that's also cool. That was some good loot. We can also take a small look down here. What's that? That is actually a Mithril Tower Shield. And I'm going to blindly equip that. That is surely a whole lot better than what we have. Mithril Tower Shield plus 9 plus 2. Is not even cursed? Oh, wow. Uh, that was cool. I was already wondering if it was a good idea to scout this level. Now I know, yes, it was. Excellent. That will also enable us to uh, train our shield skill a whole lot higher than it was so far. Maybe the rest of the level has something more that we want. However, I really like this. What do we have here? Locked door, but we've got the key. Nice. Does it give us anything? Just a little training. And a warm cloak. That might be one thing something as well. Heat this corpse. I will just blindly equip this warm cloak too. Cloak of defense! Oh wonderful! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a lucky lucky level. Nice, nice, nice. I'm happy with that. Extremely happy. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, dudes. Seriously. Uh. Arrow slaying somewhere? No. But I guess our best chance will be to try kill them from a distance. Uh, but I think, wait a second, I guess we might have something like a wand of webbing. Uh, or do we? No, maybe not. I thought we had. Let me try this ironwood wand. I'll zap the ironwood wand to try to catch this guy in webs. If I, it's a vortex, I don't think I can even catch him in webs. <sighs> but we cannot do much more. We have already used our potion of invisibility. We have to try to kill him from a distance and after that, uh, it's an ice vortex. So we have a realistic chance to survive this explosion. But just if he hits a lucky hit at us, then maybe not. Yes! Nice! Killed him! That was an excellent shot. Oh, exactly hit him. That was a, uh, a very, very good hit in exactly the right moment. Just when we needed it. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Dangerous situation, my friends. But we need a little luck in this episode, too, because I definitely want to get my first point for Team Water. So. 
Glad to meet you. That's super excellent. I will maybe fight him in uh, normal mode, but that's the guy we have to kill for our quest. See, the ancient dwarf asked you to kill a troll, and this is a troll, and now he is a dead troll. You have just completed your first quest. Excellent. So we will directly continue to Dwarf Town to get the reward and start with our other questions. What was the message? Uh, you hear a distant wind, so there's another vortex at this level. We have to take good care of that. Oh my god. What's with all these vortices? I hope we had a means of teleportation. But I closed the door back over there. So maybe the vortex is trapped in the other part of the level now. What I might tell you, by the way, is that in the second miss miss mission, Lantier died of a, of a vortex. And it actually it even was a, an ice vortex, of which we now already met two. But a very experienced one in the Dwarven Hall, so really nasty. So, let us talk to this guy. Hey Tunda, we have just finished your quest. Well done. A truly great brew, this that will give ye some insight. So, we've got the potion of literacy. We have got a literacy skill of 33, which is rather low. So let me drink this potion and maybe increase it. It is uh, an artifact, but we have already messed up all the artifact quest. So, I'll drink that. That means now we have got literacy 55. At least, a whole lot better. Give me another quest, please. Animated forest, yes. And what about the uh, portal quest? Have I already got it? Yes, I already got it. However, that means that we can even uh, succeed in another quest by diving deeper now. That was cool. So here we go, downwards, take a dwarven child with us. I was always wondering. Ah, I don't think that's a beard. I thought dwarven child children may we have beards, but I think that's some piece of cloth around his neck or so. <laughs> However, be careful, we know there's a fire vortex. Right in front of us. <sighs> What do I do? I do unequip this and that. Yeah, that was the most important stuff. Because I know also from background information that we have a fireproof blanket. This guy is neutral. Now he's hostile, that was so clear. Let's try to kill him with a with a mighty strike, berserking him to death. No, he explodes. Bam! But did not destroy any of our equipment. I think uh, it was a good idea to protect our uh, our hood, uh, our head, and uh, and the cloak. Okay. Third vortex encounter, and again we survived. Like that. <laughs> this is even another troll. All in all, that's very nice that we've been able to finish the first quest. Uh, that should allow us to maybe also do the following quests and thus and thus have a big advantage when we enter the pyramid. However, at first here we've got a herb level. If these this level should contain some useful herbs. Then we might even be able to harvest them, which would of course be a lot less dangerous than in the big room. Are you now hostile? Yes. Why am I not surprised? Asshole dog. That's what you get for leaving these enemies alive. A second later they are hostile and trying to kill you. But 
might be lawful. That's the price you have to pay as a lawful character. Sometimes your principles are just not good for you, but maybe it's worth to keep them anyway. Okay, cannot save these herbs. At least we get a nice supply of herbs, which I kind of like. You've got a live crossbow for us. Thank you. That was the kind of uh, of missile that we were still missing. And still, no more herbs. Climbing set, okay, take that too. Okay, there's very likely no room in these stairs. Ah, but at least some herbs. Okay, we've been able to secure a single spot of herbs. That's not too much, but maybe at one point we will try to find out what herbs these are. Mummy, hello. Good. You should maybe be. I will scout the rest of this level just because I want to see if maybe there's another more herb spot we could farm later. Our bow skill is progressing very well, by the way. Also, I feel a lot safer since I equipped this uh, wooden ring, because uh, I know that fire is a big, big problem for uh, low HP characters. Come on, kill this orc. Try to hit him, nice. Master Swordsman, but this guy's neutral and I'd like to keep it like that. Where's the shortest way to the Dantes? Oh, okay, it should be this one. On these downstairs I will leave the climbing set to pick it up later if we get back uh, to uh, in the direction of the surface. Or I just drop it here so I can see it. Uh, because it weights so much. <laughs> so what do we have here? D12. I think scouting this level is the last thing that I will try to do in this episode. So far I'm extremely happy and I do not want to play with a reduced uh, concentration when I play too long at a time. Because this mission shall be won under any circumstances. Losing is not an option. Oh, sticky. Here's one downstairs. I want to check if maybe there is another on this level. Well, I can, I can as well check it like this. No, D13. Hello. Oh, stone golem. That's a little dangerous, and I like to rather fight him on this level if I have to fight him. So let's, I think we had maybe something that could slay him, but I rather try to do it in normal mode with our penetrating weapon, which. Luckily, he goes straight through his amazing protection value. Come on, kill him. One more hit. Yes, and he's dead. Nice job. Dropping a couple of rocks, but we do not need these rocks. However, I want to check something. Was there something on the ground here? Maybe an ancient scythe? Yeah! That's what I hoped. Found the ancient scythe. guys. What did they drop? Oh, these are arrows of undead slaying that I'm currently using and wasting on <laughs> ordinary enemies. Ooh, sorry. Luckily none of them broke. <laughs> but that's cool. A couple of arrows of undead slaying. 
might become very handy if we get to fight some tougher undead, which will definitely be the case in the pyramid. Lumps of clay, no, that's not interesting for us. Just for our as old as the world cousins. Oh, hello. Big dog. It is uh, hostile. Why? A hostile blink dog. I will kill it. I know that teleport control is great, but uh, I do not want to risk fighting blink dogs, horse with such a low HP character. Also, it would maybe ruin our alignment, which would not be very nice either. I'll try these single arrows, by the way, so I know which ones I can drop. Hey! Another level! Excellent! What do we want to increase? Definitely alertness. I'd also like to do one more on archery, maybe. Dodge is too low. Find weakness. No. First aid is too low. Healing is too low. Uh, yeah, I'll increase artery even further. And something else. Oh, maybe I could also put one on stealth. Could also become handy. I think stealth became a very, very nice skill in the latest versions. Also, it gave us a handful of... Uh, of hit points. Two additional hit points, which is actually not very much. <laughs> but however... Uh huh, that's a displacer beast. Oh, I do not want to pick up this rock, but however... guys just have a very high defense value but they do not do much damage so no need to be too afraid of them arrow of slaying that's a nice one although just a single one anyway we are done with this level so I think that should all in all be enough for this episode oh. So let us just move down to the next level. There we can uh, first do something against our hunger. Eat one of these lizards, soft and juicy. Large canal, hello. Did he drop some stuff here? No, that was just the arrow that we shot, okay. <laughs> so, here we are. On D13, we have, in this episode, explored quite some levels, and especially we found some nice additions to our equipment. I'm talking about this Cloak of Defense and this Mithril Tower Shield. So, I hope to see you guys again for the next episode. Oh, don't forget, we also managed to do the first Dolphin Quest. That's also something that I am sure the next episode is going to be bloody exciting again. So see you then, guys. Bye.